Now the next component on our list is a text component. So we go to our components directory and create a directory for text. Now for the text in our work, we want to create a set of text components. So we'll create a text component for a small text, a regular text and a big text so that we can get an appropriate one for any situation that we need some text. Now to start a small text, we can copy the content of the main container since it will follow a similar pattern. Now the first thing we'll do is to change the name of the component to small text and using Ctrl D we can select them both. Now the text component will also need some types for the props just like we did for the main container. And now once again we want to copy the content of the types for the main container. And then we go to the types for the text and then paste it here. Now instead of calling our type container props, we'll call this text props. And then for the properties, we can expect to receive a children property. So this is fine. And also for the style, we can expect to receive some style property. But in this case, we are styling a text and not a view, just like so. Now back in the small text component, we can change the import here to text props. Then we can copy it and then replace the container props here with text props. Now let's have a look at the styled view we have over here. In this file, we don't need a view but we need a text property. So instead of styled view, we can change this to styled text. And to save us some time, we will use Ctrl D to select all the styled view here and change the value to styled text. Now for the actual component here, we change it to text. And then we can get rid of all the properties here. The first property we want to set is the font size. And for this small text, we'll set the size to 13. Now we also want to set a color for this and we'll set it to the black color from our colors. So we can import the black color from our colors. Also by default, we want to align our text to the left. Now this concludes the work for the small text. So we can move on to the regular text. Now this will be very similar to the small text. So we copy and paste the content. Over here, we start by changing the name of the component to regular text. The only difference between the small text and the regular text will be the font size. So over here, we change the font size to 15 pixels. And then we move to the big text once again to be very similar to the others. So we can paste the content we copied. And then we change the name from small text to big text. And once again, the only difference will be the font size. So we change the size here from 13 to 30 pixels. Now let's go back to our app file and import our text components. Now we can replace the text here with our big text. And then inside it, we can say something. And after that, we can also use the regular text. And then we can say something very similar. And lastly, we use the small text. Now before I pass anything, if you have noticed, if the content of the component is empty, we see that there is an error from TypeScript. This is just TypeScript ensuring that you don't leave the component empty since the children property is required. So once you provide something to the component, TypeScript becomes happy and you don't see the error again. Now the next component we want to create is an input component. 